What's up, everybody? We are back on this lovely Thursday, gearing up for the weekend. But first, let's go back to one of the older blog posts. As I read it, you'll be watching some training footage. So let's get into it. This one is called Get Back on the Horse. We all fall off. Here's how to get back on. You're crushing it. Going to the gym five days a week. You're feeling strong. Got a good soreness going that makes you feel accomplished. Your energy is up, and then something happens. You get sick. Family and friends come to visit. Work picks up. Now you're not going to the gym so much. How do we start up again? In this blog post, we'll cover the inevitable. How to come back from a brief detour. And it's just that. A detour. Monday is good, but tomorrow is better. For whatever reason, we as humans love fresh starting points. Come the new year, I'm going to do insert any new year's resolution. Starting the beginning of the month, I'm going to start making coffee at home instead of going to Starbucks. On Monday, I'm going to the gym full tilt. But why wait until next year, or next month, or Monday? Why not tomorrow? That's as fresh of a start as it gets. One day ends and another begins. Whatever happened the day prior is washed away with the rising of the new sun. Okay, enough of the Star Wars intro talk. When it comes to getting back into the swing of things, nothing helps more than, well, getting back into the swing of things. Just go. Starting tomorrow, do it. I know, much easier said than done, and not all that helpful of a point to make, but the hardest part of resuming a gym habit is just restarting. Restarting as soon as we realize we've fallen off the wagon is a surefire way to leave no time for excuses and get back to it. You're back on the horse, reeling those reins, and take it slow. Sweet, now that we've cut the excuses and are back at it, how do we prevent further relapse? Well, take it slow. No point going ham and then injuring ourselves, taking us out of the gym again. If you've been out one to two weeks, your first few workouts back, I suggest you double your warm up time. Make sure that diesel truck of a body is good and ready. Those gears may be a bit sticky, but once up and running, ain't no stopping us. We need time to allow everything to loosen up after a brief period off. I don't think there are any serious losses that take place physically, rather than I, than I wholly believe we're just a bit groggy and need time to wake up the body. If it's been three to six weeks, I would still focus on longer warm-ups, but I also wouldn't worry too much about hitting your lifting percentages or trying to pick up where you left off. Chances are strength may have taken a bit of a hit and trying to resume your program may end up hurting you or resulting in disappointment and how difficult it may feel. At this point, we're looking for attendance, not for performance. After a week or two, evaluate how you're feeling and slowly start working your way back up to your normal output. If it's been two months or more, again, on top of getting those longer warm-ups and loosening up on the percentages a bit, I would greatly consider adjusting the overall volume you're doing. Example, you're used to doing five sets of five for squats once a week for your leg day. Maybe you only do three sets or four sets at some lighter loads to get the muscles acquainted to the movement again. People are assholes. Don't be one to yourself. Why would I do that, you may ask yourself. It's never that we're intentionally mean to ourselves, but as always, we are our own worst critics. If you've fallen off the horse, do your very best not to get caught up in beating down on yourself. Man, I can't believe I haven't gone to the gym this week. I shouldn't be eating this because I haven't worked out. I knew it wasn't realistic for me to go five days a week. We need to have grace towards ourselves and understand that things happen. It's not the end of the world. The gym will always be there. The best part is, we can always work on our mindset. Rather, we should be telling ourselves things along the lines of, this week has been busy, so I'll walk to work and do a little homework home workout to at least do something. This is the best fuel for my body, so I'll have a little and make a smoothie. Five times a week might have been too much, but at least I made it in three times. The way we talk to ourselves impacts us greatly. Would you be friends with somebody who always puts you down? Didn't think so. So don't do it to yourself. You're the one who has to live with you for the rest of your life. In summary, we all have small detours here and there. The best way to get back on track is to just get back on track. Don't wait. Come tomorrow, get back on it. No excuses. Once started, take it easy for a bit. Longer warm-ups, lighter loads, and less volume will help prevent any injuries as you make your way back to avoid any further time off. Most importantly, be kind to yourself. The world is already cruel enough. We don't need to be that cruelty, especially self-inflicted cruelty. 
Recognize you've strayed and instead of using the energy to pout, use it to get fired up. Even as I write this, I find myself hopping back on the wagon. Our last blog post of Eat What You Want was last month. Yikes. Not what I had planned on, but hey, here we are. Same goes for working out. It's been spotty these last few months, but I just keep on keeping on. That's all we can do. As always, I hope you found something useful in this post. But if you have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Send me an email. Give me a call. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. I will see you on the next one.